Hey you guys, it's Sandra from asexualized.com in association with World of Quirky and Quirky Academy. asexualized.com is a new website coming next year in 2016 with products and resources for asexuals. Today I want to talk to you about asexual Christmas presents and reveal some of mine. Now what do I mean by asexual Christmas presents? What I mean by that is these are presents that are not sexy. And they don't need to be, but they're so cute. Well, my main one's cute. I tell you, so cute. And I really love it. Being a romantic asexual, I absolutely love cuteness, magic, and I love Disney, especially Eeyore. And I'm really proud and pleased to show off my new Eeyore pyjama set that my parents got me for Christmas. And so being asexual, I do not experience sexual attraction towards uh, anyone. And I'm only attracted to guys because I'm a heteromantic asexual. But I'm only romantically attracted to them. When I say only romantically, I'm actually intelligently attracted to them, creatively attracted to them, emotionally attracted to them, <laughs> aesthetically attracted to them. But personally, being a grey asexual, I don't experience any sexual attraction like um, most asexuals. Uh, well... Most asexuals don't. I say most asexuals because you can get demisexuals that fall under the asexual spectrum. And they are sexual still, but they can't be sexual with someone unless they formed a strong emotional connection with that person first. This could take up to a couple of years. So me being grey, I don't experience platonic attraction. So for me, um, most of the time, I just end up fancying or being attracted to a guy before I become friends with them. In my feelings, it's a bit hard to explain. Anyway, um, I don't need sexy clothes for um, going out and dressing up sexily because I don't need to attract the opposite sex in a sexual way. And if I go out and I get dressed up, I get dressed up for myself. I mean, yeah, sometimes I like to feel beautiful. Sometimes I might even like to feel sexy for myself, but not for a guy because I categorically don't want sex with him. And I love leading a really young, teenage, quirky kid lifestyle. It really suits me. I so love it and adore it. So I want to reveal to you my asexual pyjama set. Now, it is an actual uh, asexual, but to me it's asexual because it's not got any inclination for me towards sex. Yes, sexual people could probably make some jokes about the ears or, you know, about fluffy stuff, but... I'm not interested in that. I just want to show off my Eeyore pyjama set. Here we go. We're going to go back on this one. So you ready? I'm putting my back to you. Look at this. Now this is awesome. Now this is what I call nice set of pyjamas. See, I've got Eeyores all down there. And I've got these great big flappy ears. This is amazing. Yeah, and uh, being asexual, I, I don't need to wear sexy underwear. I don't wear sexy underwear. I really don't. I like comfortable underwear. I'm not bothered about sexy underwear at all. So this, though, is great. I've got ears to play with, too. <laughs> it's amazing, and I absolutely adore it. It's a really nice colour. Great pyjama set. Nice and warm. So, yeah, I'm going to do my vlog, the rest of my vlog today, innit? I'm going to keep it short and sweet. So what else do I get for Christmas? Nice memory foam slippers. So I have a foot problem, as in they swell up sometimes if I don't wear trainer socks throughout the winter as well as the summer. And I have to have memory foam slippers. So here's my memory foam slippers. Again, they're not sexy, but they're nice and comfortable. So this is great. And I'm a writer. In case you didn't know, I have got a book out on Amazon called Break Through the Barriers of Dunsey to Get Back Into Work. It's a complete A to Z guide for getting back into work. I'm really proud of it because it took me two and a half years to write the book such a long time but I finally got out there and so I love writing I love journals and everything so I do have a journal from my mum bear with me I'll just try and find it so here it is and it's pink pink's not exactly my thing apart from in nightwear but my mum also bought me a bench top for Christmas and a Henley top which is really really good of her and the bench top is pink actually it's quite nice on me so I can't complain really anyway this is a journal Again, this is great for putting all your thoughts down, um, for organising. I tend to find that with asexuals, because we've got more time to think about other things, 
that we end up getting lots and lots accomplished with our creative needs for example artistic you know we, we get a lot done well, we can get a lot done um, even more so because we have a bit more time on our hands because we're not thinking about sex and how to do it and whilst people are having sex we we can be getting on with other things in our lives so this is my journal so this is where I'm planning stuff and I already planned my first day for today as you can see I've written loads of stuff down there and I actually was really thrilled because I went to upload some new t-shirt designs today uh, which aren't asexual ones actually but when I went in to upload the new designs um, yeah, I was really happy. I sold one of my asexualized um, Superman style t-shirts, age t-shirts. So I was really pleased about that. That's amazing. So yeah, um, do check out asexualize on Amazon.com and it'll come up with the t-shirts I've designed especially for asexuals if you're interested. I've got one myself, the IA stick one in black. So it's all cool. Yeah, so um, journal. If you are a writer or if you just need to get your emotions out, um, you know, I used to suffer with depression for years and it was a really good way of getting my emotions out on paper in a very, um, you know, constructive manner and also safe, you know, and just, you know, if you need to keep a lock on it, keep a lock on it. So, yeah, that's some of my asexual gifts. I call them asexual because, you know, they're not sexual in my opinion, although pretty much you can make anything sexual if you really want it to be um having had past sexual relationships i know that <laughs> but as far as i'm concerned they're asexual stuff and um i love my asexual life yeah so um happy christmas happy boxing day for the last couple of days hope you're looking forward to the new year as am i and um i'm gonna see you on the next video Please, please leave in your comments what asexual gifts you got for Christmas or whatever gifts you got. I'd love to hear from you. And um, give this video the thumbs up if you like it. Please subscribe if you haven't done so already. Tell all your asexual friends and allies all about this channel. And let's raise more awareness of asexuality. Until next time, embrace your quirky and each other's. Bye!